We've got a twist on salsa in the latest Quick Bites. hy V dietitian Katie George joining us. Hello. This just looks so fresh. It is so fresh. <laughs> and what we are doing today is we're actually showcasing, uh, we're not showcasing the fruit, actually. Okay. We are, well, do a lovely fruit recipe. But I'm going to showcase um, one of our September dietitian picks of the month at hy V, which is Siete, the brand Siete. I'm going to talk a little bit about that. And we're going to get to that, but let's get to the yeah. back to the fruit, mm -hmm. right? So end of the season, um, you know, everybody says fruit is the best in the summertime. I wouldn't disagree. <laughs> um, and so we are just going to utilize some of the fresh fruit that is available, and we're going to make a fruit salsa. So oftentimes when we think salsa, we think tomatoes exactly. and uh, more of a savory side. But today um, we are going to make a fruit salsa and utilize some unique new cinnamon chips. So we are going to get to the salsa, shall we? Let's do okay, it. Okay, so color. We're going to use mm -hmm. a lot of color. The more color that you are using, it's just going to be more vitamins, more minerals, more antioxidants. Um, and this is just a great way to encourage more fruit consumption. So we are Chopping everything up very small. Okay. Um, this has been pre-done. I just really like when I think about salsa, I think chip size. So you don't yes. want big chunks of anything. So we are using our vibrant red strawberries. We are going to use our green grapes here. Um, and then we are just going to use some blue blueberries, right? Mm -hmm. We are going to add some peaches as well. So this is just adding a lot of different colors, a lot of different vitamins and minerals. And I love kiwi for fruit salsa. Um, I feel like if I use kiwi, it's, a, it's just a lot of work. But if I use it and chop it up small for yeah. fruit salsa, it just has a tremendously different twist. So any fruit will work. You don't have to use strawberries and grapes and blueberries and peaches. Any fruit will work. Anything you have left over or anything that's about to go bad, um, use it in some fruit salsa. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to utilize some apricot preserves. And really what this does is it just creates a little bit of a sauce. You do not have to use much of it at all, um, probably about two tablespoons, okay. because then the juice of the fruit kind of starts meshing together and the, it, the flavors just blend very, very well. Um, if you do not have apricot preserves and you want to use strawberry preserves, that would work perfectly too. Um, but it just creates just kind of like a, a binding sauce for our fruit salsa. Um, this fruit salsa does not have any extra um, added sugar to it. Um, we're not making a syrup. And literally, if you just let it sit for six to eight hours, all the flavors really mesh wow. together. So okay. this works well. So um, we are going to utilize this as a fruit salsa. And our chips are going to be a spin on those lovely Amigos Crispos, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Know? Amigos Crispos, the seven or the cinnamon chips. Um, these Siete chips are grain free. And to wow. some that means nothing. To some that means a lot. <laughs> But essentially it is, um, these Siete chips are made with cassava flour, which is a root vegetable. And um, they are dairy free, uh, gluten free, they are vegan. And so people who, who have special diets or can't consume certain ingredients, these work really well. Um, not many chips are sweet and these are cinnamon churro. Yeah. So that works very well with our fruit salsa. And again, it is our dietitian pick of the month. We have a ton of different Siete options at hy V, and I would really encourage you to reach out and um, just try it out. Yeah, perfect recipe for the end of the summer, I yes, think. Yes, it works great. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, Katie. Yes. We'll be right back.